Hi everyone, <clears throat> I'm quite excited to talk to you because we're going to do something that I wanted to do almost forever. I want to find aliens and uh, in order to do that I want to go that somewhere where they find aliens. So these are the alien sightings of the world and as you can see it's quite clear that in Europe and in North America they have a lot of sightings, some in India, something here in Africa, but you can't see anything beyond that. Do I go to the East Coast or to the West, West Coast, for instance? And to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a heat map. A, a heat map is basically a density map. It calculates places where you have bigger density of points. It's, it has nothing to do with the value of the points of something, just density. So, heat map, or cancer kernel density, and let's see the parameters. So my first parameter is the sightings layer. It's a point layer. It should be a point layer. The second is the radius. The product of this function is a raster. So rasters are actually points or squares. Now if I take this square, how do I know What's the density radius uh, value for it? Around this point, it draws a circle, and just counts the number of points around this point. So let's say I want to go 1000 kilometers from each point. This parameter is the size of the raster. Let's say I want, I want to have a square for each degree. So it's 360 by 360. Sorry. And go. Let's see what the product is. So here is my product. It's it's not drawn yet, but it's not uh, formatted yet, but I can already see that Northern Europe is not an option for me. The region of New York is where I'm going to find some aliens, and which is nice. And I can, of course, do something like that and uh, change the, the way I'm drawing it, do something like that and classify and maybe add some transparency and now we can see where we are and actually see that in Africa I wouldn't expect that but there is a point where quite a lot of uh, alien sightings. We're done. Thank you.